Hello lovelies and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Katya and today we are doing a special double feature because I am finally going to be watching Hear Me Out and Let Me In by EXO. We are going to be finally finishing out this album's content and just go ahead and completing this overall trilogy of MVs so I can go ahead and just get straight into their older content. Now. I have actually heard already Hear Me Out and Let Me In uh, on my album review, which you can go ahead and check out on my Patreon. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But I am actually really excited to see what the visuals are going to be for these songs. I really liked Hear Me Out. I really did. It was a really fun, like bubbly, not bubbly, but you know, a fun, light, you know, summery song. That's what it gave me. It gave me summer vibes. And Let Me In definitely sounded more, you know, on the melancholy side. You know, very, not, I want to say sad, but it's definitely got a more deeper feeling than what the rest of the album had. So I'm interested to see what these two visuals are going to be like. It's a very interesting three set of songs that were selected to be MVs for this comeback. But other than that, we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the MVs. Captions are on. One, two, three. Look back to mommy, do not know mommy, do you not get a palace flight? I love this rapper. Killing it. I love so so with the long hair. videos like this when it's just hanging out the time in this music video does it have to do with the storyline oh, I totally forgot about that Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, this is interesting. This is fun. Ah, oh, I, I, as far as storyline, I'm not gonna know anything that goes down if there is storyline connections here, which I think there probably is. It seems to be something weird going on with the time. Um, but you guys will let me know if there's, you know, storyline connections. I mean, I'm not even deep into the storyline yet. <laughs> I've only seen cream soda <laughs> MV. I've seen no other MVs, so I will have no idea what's going on as far as storyline. Oh my goodness! But I, oh, I, I love the song. It's, it's definitely, it's, it's, it's one of the top ones. Um, I'll tell you which one's uh, is my favorite though. Regret it is my favorite. But ooh, ooh, I just they're so cute. They're so cute. I love it so much. I love seeing that kind of visual. They're just having fun, hanging out, having a good time together. Ugh. Definitely a different vibe from Cream Soda. <laughs> Cream Soda was a whole other genre of music video, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to go ahead and get into the next MV. Got the subtitles on. We're just going to go ahead and straight into it. All right. Now this one was a slower song, so I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. Would this one have storyline? I wouldn't know. So it's like a time thing again. Because the last video had like a. Oh, these vocals. The last video had a time thing too. Okay, so time is reversed. 
and the asteroid or meteorite, whatever it is, has come back out of the Earth. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh. Final thoughts. I love this song. I really do. It's really, really like soft. It's really different from the rest of the album, as you'll see on my album review. But the song is, it's such a slow tempo, but it's so, like I said, it's kind of got like a melancholy vibe of, you know, this love that's been kind of lost or has been disconnected and they're trying to reconnect again or just trying to stay together because you know that's all they want is that's, that's where the happiness is at is when they're together even if it's only for a moment they just want to be together you know at least that's the um the perspective of the of the guys from their perspective seeing is they just want to be in their embrace they just want to be with them even for a moment and you kind of get that vibe also with this with this music video it's very interesting because you know with whatever it is this rock meteorite asteroid whatever you want to call it you know coming in you know destroying part of the earth you know it kind of gives like you're in your final moments you know kind of like a pop apocalyptic liptic apocalyptic vibes in those final moments of your life so to say in perspective to this mv you know you want to be with that person who means the most to you and it kind of seemed they were making kind of connections in this mv with the members themselves i don't know when what terms of relationships that were going down i could be misinterpreting the relationships that are being expressed i probably am but it's fine you guys let me know but it definitely seemed a little bit more than platonic with like just like the looks but i like i said i could be misinterpreting um but regardless even if it's not even if it's just friendship there definitely is a bit of you know longing missing you know wanting to be with that person who they are close with kind of like with suman and chen um, Sehun and Dio and Kai was with a dog so I don't know about that um, I don't know if there's a connection with that you guys let me know but regardless there was, seemed to be everyone was in a connection with someone you know wanting to be with someone you know missing someone in a way except for I would say Chen Yul and Suo they were by themselves so looked to be Suo looked to be in an apartment that had been packed up or was getting packed up you know at a very f fast rate, you know, it's kind of sped up, but he was in a part, standing like alone in an apartment as it was being packed up, you know, just by himself, kind of in a sad space, like someone who he was with or whatever has moved out, moved on, and he's left alone in this space that was once theirs. And Chen Yul was in a field. <laughs> Chen Yul was in a field and with the rock in itself and I'm not sure what to take from that. I really don't. It seemed this video really did have a lot of heavy storyline going in it visually, but with this song, it kind of gives it just this whole other, you know, vibe, you know, because it does, the song in itself does speak a lot about, you know, an ocean, wanting to be in your ocean and, you know, pulling you closer, this and that. It's very interesting. It's very all metaphorical. I don't know, don't take my word for it, but it does says it says there's a lot of symbolism and symbolicism. <laughs> symbolicism. There's definitely a lot of symbolism going down in this music video that I could not be interpreting correctly. Granted, this because this is my first time, you know, getting into their MVs and Starline and so on and so forth. So you guys definitely let me know. Like I've said, if I'm misinterpreting things wrong, I probably am. Overall, I really enjoyed these two music videos and the songs in general. They were really good. They were singing beautifully, the vocals were great, ad-libs ad were great. Some of my favorite stuff are ad-libs. Oh, the rapping has been really good, I enjoyed it so much. They both have such different tones, of course, from Hear Me Out to Let Me In, you know, but they were still really good rapping, I really enjoyed it. Even if it's not like, you know, very fast-paced rapping, I like a slow kind of R&B, you know, sound sometimes. It's so good, and these two were really killing it. Oh my goodness, I just, I have no other words to say other than like, I really enjoyed it and it was great. But other than that, lovelies, that is it for today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Continue to leave your recommendations down in the comment section and as well as tell me if there's things I was missing from this MVs, which I probably was. And if you want to see me do more EXO or other K-pop content in the future, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
And as I said before, if you want to check out my album review to exist, that's over on the Patreon. But other than that, lovelies, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!